Hey, this is Carlo of 4GQ TV, and I'm here with Bruce Dickinson. Yo, it's me. And I hear that you are getting involved in some comics. Uh, yeah, well, this is this is my baby. Yeah, episode one of my baby. I mean, episode two is uh, episode two is there, uh, my baby. Uh, yeah, so this and there's twelve episodes. Every three months, there's another episode. So. Uh, Two and a half years time, uh, it'll be, it'll, it'll all be done. The story will be revealed. Oh, wow. So can you tell me a little bit of how you came up with the ideas for this? Um, well, some of it was musically inspired. Um, and the, um, when I write songs, often I, there's a story that goes with the song. Uh, it might not be immediately obvious. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But um, I did a song called Accident of Birth, which is about a guy who, uh, he's, his twin brother dies at birth, uh, but they're psychically linked. So he can, he's tortured by his twin brother in hell going, get me out of here. Uh, and he's got survivor's guilt. Why did I survive? You know, I'd swap if I could, but God's got other ideas, you know, why me? Imagine if there was a way to bring his brother back. Imagine there was technology that did that. Um, and we have two characters, Dr. Necropolis and Professor Lazarus, who um, control this technology, have different views on what to do with it. That was the original idea that started what has become Mandrake. It's now a lot more advanced. It's now a lot more complex. And instead of bringing back his brother, which is it still an element of the story, the technology that Mandrake has developed, uh, the Mandrake project has developed, basically bottles the human soul at the point of death. Oh, wow. So stores it, and therefore it can be reinserted into something else. Okay. Uh, that's the end of episode one. So far, so good. And now what do you do with it? What you, the rest of the story is the story of what happens to the technology and what happens to the people that are involved with it and what are the ramifications on their relationships of it, basically. So exploring this medium, comic book writing, yeah. is it a lot different than songwriting? Yeah, it's... It is a lot different to songwriting. Um, um, you, it, it has some similarities. It has uh, comic writing has similarities to all writing. You know, the screenplay writing, uh, songwriting, uh, you know, uh, book writing, um, and, and art, obviously. Uh, but it is different to all of them. You know, I mean, I approached writing this the same way I'd approach writing, say, a screenplay. And then as soon as I went to turn it into a comic, my script writer, Tony Lee, a very experienced comic writer, I realized that script writing, screenplay format is not comic format. Screenplay dialogue is not comic dialogue. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, and you just got to have a feel for what's going to work in a comic. And uh, it's really exciting for me to see uh, the, the script that we do turn into the art and then the art and the script work together. Um, so I'm, as I'm going through, I, I, I feel like I'm getting more of a handle on, on writing comic script. I mean, I've written the story. I've written the characters. I've written the backstory. But now the characters are starting to write the story, which is really, for me, is like, wow, that's really cool. That's interesting. So I know that, you know, you're a musician mm -hmm. and you have a lot of creative storytelling in you. Mm -hmm. But where do you draw the comic inspiration from? Are you a fan of comic books? Well, I was when I was a kid. I mean, um, but I, I like to, um, I liked a good story, you know? Um, and for there to be a good story, you need complex characters. Um, so uh, 
I made a distinction between art. I mean, if I'd have been able to draw when I was a kid, I'm, I'm sure I would have been an artist. But I can't, I mean, I'm like little stick people. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I have no ability at, at art at all, except I love it when I see it and I can visualize things. I just can't draw them, you know, um, which is good for artists because you're going to have maniacs like me create the ideas and then they, they, they draw them. Um, so if I, you know, if I could, I, I would, I'm, I'm sure I would have been an artist, but without that, then, you know, you turn into, uh, you turn into a storyteller just through whatever medium you can get your hands on, you know? Absolutely. How many books do you have planned? There's 12 of, of, of these, uh, going to be out and they fit into, um, chunks of four okay so uh end of four episodes you'll have book one um and then book two uh and then obviously book three and that should be the end of this incarnation of it whether there'll be another incarnation is actually um very much up to you know Z2 and the rest of the world and if they love it then um, I'm not short of ideas okay. but for now I have to focus I mean it's every three months 34 pages um, is uh, yeah it's it's, it's 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 a fair bit of work I just want to tell you I've taken a look at this book and Revelations as well mm -hmm. and the stories are fantastic Oh, I'm glad you love and the stories. The art, the art is amazing. Oh, the art! I love. I love Stas is, has done a great job here, and Bill on the covers. Um, no, it's uh, uh, it, it, it's really good. And uh, what I love is when I sort of visualize what I, you want to see, and then you see Stas come up with exactly what you wrote on the page, and you go, "Yeah, wow!" If I was an artist. That's what I draw. Um, yeah, just yeah. as as a huge fan of comic books, uh, I love almost every character out there. Yeah. And I'm looking at this artwork, and I feel like this could be something that I would see in IDW or you know any other major comic out there. And yeah, we we, we honestly, um, w um, episode three is on is in art at the moment. Episode three and four. Oh, it really starts to get to really build. I'm excited, you know, um, where it's where it's going. You know? uh, and I, I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can't wait to see this whole story play out. It's yeah. beautiful, and um, I just want to thank you for your time. No, my pleasure. And, and tell us about your creations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Bruce. Good night.